Hello and welcome to this video on how to create a performance-based report from Rodroid Data and Microsoft Excel. Uh, performance-based reports are very essential tool in order to monitor the condition of a road network over different time periods. In order to produce a performance report from Rodroid Data, first of all, we need a special road database of your road network and shape format. Uh, if you have questions about what is a special road database, please refer to our information page on our website and read it there. You can also check our YouTube channel to see other videos about the Roadroid app and how it is used. So the report that you're looking right now at, it is the performance-based report that we have created. And this is for a road network of approximately 151 kilometers. And then this road network is divided into 41 sections. So these are the sections name, and this is the length of each section. And then we have the IRI and other information for the month of October and at the same we have for month of November. Um, we have divided each section into 100 meter segments in order to find the exact uh, condition of each segment of the road uh, within each section. For instance, if I click here on this plus sign so I can get the expanded view of the uh, each section and here I see that the uh, average uh, IRI for month of October uh, for section 70 was 1.97. However, each segment had these uh, IRI values in October. And in November, we see that uh, the IRI ratings are getting, are getting a little bit higher. And that's why we have uh, two segments, which has IRI value of above 2.5 and it, uh, using the conditional formatting in Microsoft Excel, we have pointed them out. And here we can also see that we have two segments which has an IRI value of between 2.5 and 3.5. And also this report also indicates that we have a segment that, ha that has an IRI value of more than 3.5 and exactly that is this segment which has the high arrival value of more than 3.71. So these are the informations that we can get uh, from our performance-based report for the whole road network that we have. So uh, now I can show you how we can get these IRI values uh, from road road website. Uh, so uh, we open the road road website and after logging in, uh, instead of going to the import history in order to see the condition or the road survey uh, individually, we click on change report. And then again, uh, this change report is only accessible if you have uh, shared your special road database with us and we have imported your special road database into our website. So here I select the single report and then uh, select the name of the country that I'm looking for. And uh, the third stage is our step is the name of the district that I'm looking within this country. So I select that one. And then I select the time period that I want to see a performance report for. So I'm going to select um, the March 1st up to end of March, and then the name of road road devices or units that was used to survey this district. So I select uh, all the active uh, road road units that were uh, surveying this uh, district, and then I click on generate report. So uh, the report that we uh, generated, it's downloaded. So I open this report to show you how it looks when we get the data from the website. 
So this is how it looks once uh, you download the data from the website. So here you have the link ID and then you have the name of each segment. Uh, and also you have the average IRI for this exact segment that you're looking. So uh, once again, if you're using the VLOCAL formula, so you can import uh, all the values from uh, estimated average IRI into your Excel sheet using the VLOCAL formula. But if you prefer, or if you can do that, so you can enter the data manually for each segment here, and then the Excel uh, worksheet calculates uh, all the other uh, things that you need. And also at the end here we have the change percentage that can all be very that that can also be very useful in order to uh, follow uh, and track the percentage of change whether the root network or each section is getting better or worse during different time periods. I hope that you have learned uh, something with this video on performance-based reports. Uh, please do contact us if you have questions regarding the performance-based reports and we hope that you can have your own uh, road networks performance-based reports by using road, road application and service system thank you very much for your time